testing a speedo using the Mini Pro Dyno, you can do this. I've got um, a 35 motor set on uh, about 50 degrees timing, which would normally like a blinky setup. Draws about six amps off load, a bit more uh, amps with this belt on here. Uh, this uh, Mini Pro now using uh, a much coarser belt and pulleys so that it doesn't jump. Now, as I said, you can test speedos on here. This is my control speedo, Hobbywing 3.1, and a big 7.5 fully charged battery. And um, you can either use a transmitter, if necessary, if, if the customer wants the whole thing tested, or I just use this little servo uh, tester, which is a throttle and brake. Um, you just plug it in here, rather than using the comp computer setup. So, um, as I say, this is the control one. I'll just show you. So, just to show that how a uh, speeder should work, you just turn it on um, once it's on. And uh, there you go, it's very smooth. Very smooth at bottom end, all the way through. And you can check, test the brakes as well and uh, that's how it should work. So what you do is um, you take the customer's speedo, he said there's something wrong with it, it's not uh, working properly. Well first of all I, I just check it over if he thinks it's actually got a fault. Um, I can just check the meter but that's another test to do just to make sure there's no short circuits or anything Look at, and the capacitor's not blown up or anything. So he said it, it don't, won't uh, pick up properly so what I do on here you've got, or I've got, uh, the control motor, uh, some th three heavy duty cables which are soldered right on the end of the crock, so try and minimise any losses. And I've got um, connectors here, either 4.5 or 5 millimetre, or, or whatever, if you're going to be connected. And I just take off my speedo and the center board obviously and you just take the customer's speedo I'm going to connect the uh, sensor connect the three wires up in the correct order of course ABC plug it up and I'll just show you after I've plugged it in and we test it well, I've connected up the uh, customer's speedo which is a Hobbywing XR10 160 amp one um, first of all I use my own sensor cables, the customer supplies a sensor cable, sometimes uh, they have brakes or whatever, I always use mine so that, that's not a problem. And uh, make sure you've got the ABC connected up correctly. And uh, I'll also have to program, program it uh, for the neutral throttle max, throttle minimum to this so we can test it properly. And make sure you've connected the plus and minus up the right way, sometimes it's got all black leads and this one's just got a little, a little red blob on the end so double check you don't want to blow the customer's speedo up so we connect that up uh, and turn on now this one uh, green light there I've already uh, pre-programmed this one as you can uh, see so I haven't got to go through that procedure so uh, make sure the sensor lead is obviously connected and we uh, Try a little bit of throttle like we did with the control speedo. And already it's having trouble going. And if I do, if I flick it, it starts going. As I advance at a speed, it sounds terrible. I mean, it's working, but it sounds rough as anything. It is working, and the brakes, the brakes actually work. Another thing I, I just mentioned is um, I will, uh, if I suspect there's something wrong, put a, a default reset factory on the speedo just to make sure. And I've already done that on this after testing it originally. And also you can update the firmware software as well. But always uh, go back to default just in case um, it's had a hiccup along the line. Uh, but I've done all that and it's still not working. Uh, it's having trouble getting going. 
and it sounds like a real tractor. And the customer said, yeah, it did have trouble getting it off the line. It did work when it was going. So that's how I test uh, speedos on here. Um, I can also, with the computer, if it was something else like wasn't providing enough power, I could probably measure the current draw with the computer where it puts it on full and measures the current. But in this case, it was this uh, weird cog in uh, performance. So that's that, you can turn it off. Uh, always, I always unplug the battery just for safety before I stop putting all the wires out. And um, that is the rig. So I'm afraid with this one, there is definitely something wrong with the Speedo. As I said, there are ways of testing. Um, what I can do is show you how you can check if a Speedo's lost a pole. Uh, I always use an analog meter. It's much easier, <laughs> I'm afraid, being old school to read an analog meter than a modern digital. First of all, just connect uh, one end to a positive and negative. I'll show you, we can do them all. Um, if you want to check the capacitor, uh, just put uh, that on there and look at the meter. Set it to ohms, low ohms. Okay, it reads just like that but now if you swap it over it will capacitor will uh, charge and dis uh, it be discharged and then charged up and you'll see it on there if the capacitor is working just watch that meter goes up and then down that's the capacitor charging um, very low voltage out of here it's not going to blow anything up or damage anything anyway that's the capacitor all right if you think the capacitor is damaged uh, unsold it put it on one of the positive and negatives Go on each one of these ABCs, that one, about 50, see where the meter is, middle one, same, this one, same. What you find, if one of these ABCs is blown, it's going to be different. Uh, put it on the positive, check, that was just the capacitor there. But all the same, just a little movement. Then you can swap them around if you want, put the positive probe on there. 50, put it on that one, As you, um, okay, so that one's reading, should read the same, and it's not actually reading, it suggests that there's something wrong with that one there, which is the C, A, B, C, let's put the positive on the negative probe, put it on each one of these, Nothing, nothing. S small jump on A and B, and nothing on C. Which suggests there's something wrong with them. Um, they should always be exactly the same. I'll just show that again. On the positive, from this, on the positive terminal, A. B, C, C is nothing. So there's definitely a fault there. I should have picked that up earlier. I thought I checked it. But as you can see, it did run, but I think it's not getting enough power out of the C. So um, anyway, that's how to test the speedos. Uh, all pretty straightforward. Um, you don't have to blow it up. Uh, just advance the power just a little bit when you're testing it in case it's got a short and you don't want to just bang it straight on full power. Okay.